Good morning. This is Keith Oglesby with Christ Episcopal Church. I'm glad you've joined me on this holy day on Good Friday. There'll be other offerings this day, both in person here at Christ Church and online, uh, including Stations of the Cross and also the proper liturgy, the Book of Common Prayer liturgy, uh, will be at 7 p.m. here on campus. So you'll have different ways that you can um, join in to this day in which we remember our Lord's death. But morning prayer also has readings that we can do, which I'm offering to you uh, this day as well. To give you uh, some of the page numbers, again, we'll do the traditional Psalm 95 for our Benite, which we've been doing during Lent, found on page 146. We'll read Psalm 22, like we did last Friday. It's appointed for this day in morning prayer. Psalm 22 is found on page 610 of the Book of Common Prayer. We'll also have a reading from John's Gospel, chapter 13, verses 36 through 38. So let's take a moment of silence, and then we'll uh, join in to the mystery of Christ's death as we look forward to the mystery of his resurrection. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which is brought upon me, whom the Lord has afflicted. And now using the form on page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Continuing on page 80. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now our, again, Benite will be found on page 146 of the Book of Common Prayer, and it's a traditional version of Psalm 95. On page 81 is the Antiphon. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepare the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is the Lord, our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, and to whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Now we turn to our psalm, Psalm 22. 
again found on page 610 of the Book of Common Prayer, a psalm you'll hear often during this time of Holy Week. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me and are so far from my cry and from the words of my distress? O my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. By night as well, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forefathers put their trust in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not put to shame. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me out of the womb and kept me safe upon my mother's breast. I've been entrusted to you ever since I was born. You are my God when I was still in my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many young bulls encircle me. Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their jaws at me like a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is melting wax. My mouth is dried out like a pot shirt. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. And you have laid me in the dust of the grave. Packs of dogs close me in and gangs of evildoers circle around me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far away, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Save me from the sword my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, my wretched body from the horns of wild bulls. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. Stand in awe of him, O offspring of Israel. All you of Jacob's line give glory. For he does not despise nor abhor the poor in their poverty. Neither does he hide his face from them. But when they cry to him, he hears them. My praise is of him in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in the presence of those who worship him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. And those who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nation shall bow before him. For kingship belongs to the Lord. He rules over the nations. To him alone all who sleep in the earth bow down and worship. All who go down to the dust fall before him. My soul shall live for him, my descendants shall serve him. They shall be known as the Lord's forever. They shall come and make known to a people yet unborn the saving deeds that he has done. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Now our reading from John, fitting for this day of Good Friday, uh, just a couple of verses of abandonment that Jesus anticipated. John chapter 13, verses 36 through 38. Simon Peter said to Jesus, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow afterward. 
Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, will you lay down your life for me? Very truly, I tell you, before the cock crows, you will have denied me three times. These few verses have sadness and hope. And that image of laying down your life, of course, is part of Jesus's definition of what love is and what Peter wanted to do in his love for our Lord. But Peter, in his human frailty, uh, did not do that. And Jesus knew that. And Jesus still loved him. And after his resurrection, was able to restore Peter to a life of faith in him. So that is our hope in Christ and in Peter. So uh, let us continue now uh, in a reflection on this and sing or say a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. I don't believe I gave the page number. I'm sorry uh, if you don't know it by now and or if this is your first time. It's Canticle 18, found on page 93 of the Book of Common Prayer. Now we continue on page 96 with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So our creeds, both the Apostles' Creed that we just read and the Nicene Creed, are really passion uh, creeds. So much of what is said there is about our Lord's death and his burial and his resurrection. It's all things we remember this day uh, in particular. Continuing on page 97, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Continuing our prayers with suffrages B on the next page, 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Now the collect appointed for this holy day, for Good Friday. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this, your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And back to page 99, our colic for Fridays, 
And this we pray all year round, but on this day, of course, is where it's grounded on Good Friday and our Lord's death on the cross. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Some theologians and preachers have said that every Sunday is a little Easter, and we believe that, uh, the resurrection that we celebrate in our Eucharist every Sunday, and that in some sense, every Friday is a good Friday to remember our Lord's uh, sacrifice. And that's why we say that prayer during morning prayer. And of course, both are in our hearts and in our lives continually, but to set aside time to remember those. And now the prayer for mission, we have three options. And I always choose this third option again because of the, uh, because I lead morning prayer on Fridays and it has those images of the cross. And again, special meaning on this day. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Let's take a moment of silence for your own prayers. And again, stop the video if you need longer than the moments that I allow. We continue our prayers for those with COVID, those who have died, those who've been sick and hospitalized, those who have had a blessed, uh, mild case, grateful for them, uh, and especially all the healthcare workers who've done so much to help and this hard pandemic. Uh, and now as we get near the end, or at least to the end of the severe period, uh, let us stay faithful and wearing masks, keeping distance, washing our hands, uh, get our shots. Uh, my second shot, I hope to get tomorrow. So hopefully all of us will be doing that uh, as we're eligible and take care of ourselves so that we can also take care of others. So we pray for all that and for the healing and recovery we need in our country as we move through this pandemic. And now using the form on page 101, let us pray. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. So again, I pray this is a day of meaning for you. I offer your, uh, what's on your heart, whether it's suffering or joy, all those things that are part of being human, know that our Lord understands us. So in our prayers and reflection this day and this weekend especially, uh, may all of our life be a sacrifice to God Almighty through Jesus Christ our Lord.